G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game spawning in over on the west side of the map playing as the Abbasid dynasty we've got liquid de muslim on the south side of the map once again we do have wood wall it is 3db on the mongols ladies and gentlemen welcome to the road to red bull wallalo legacy this is starting to heat up for anybody who's unfamiliar with this map this is wood wall Named so because of the giant wall of wood in the center of the map. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Create some very cheeky strategies. A lot of people would look at this and think, ah, it's going to take you years to get through that. No, my friend. No, my friend. This can take only a matter of moments. You can be well and truly through. So I'll have to look and see how they play it. B, already out scouting with the Gur. You know what they say. Everybody trying to catch him riding Gertie. But uh, not today. Not today. At least, hopefully, not today. He won't be caught. Now, I'm curious to see whether he looks to uh, uh, use this to pick up sheep. So there's there's this, I guess, tactic that you can use where if you do find sheep, what you do is you put the gur down, you pack it, or rather unpack it, and then that's going to enable you to capture the sheep because just like a mill, a gur uh, will also... Uh, uh, oh, you can see he's actually putting it down. It will uh, capture um, sheep in the immediate vicinity of it if they don't have an allegiance and now he there you go beautiful two sheep picked up and now they're going to follow the girl so they're nice and safe so i mean at, at this point like they see him rolling they hating that's pretty much the way it goes girl moving over to the gold mine i'm going to assume and indeed it is a gold mine girl won't actually pick up the sheep unless it unpacks that's the that's the that's the big factor here so super, not super duper overpowered but still pretty cool a great little mechanic and then we can see the khan heading up to the north now he doesn't actually have to come through on this back direction because the girl's already done the hard work for him over there. So super smart move from B. I'm loving it so far. Now we've seen B play on this map a couple of times before with the Mongols. He's gone for town center rushes before. So I'm curious whether he's going to be looking to do something similar in this game. Up against the Muslim, it's one of those matchups where it's a little bit more difficult. The Abbasid have always got, or at least they always seem to have an answer to most of the stuff that the Mongols throw at them, especially more recently where Mongols are more orientated around that sort of castle age timing, less focus on, on early dark age pressure, more focus on just sort of getting to the castle age and then trying to find something there. It, it can be difficult because it's not always going to be the case. And now the Muslim going to have just enough resources to age up. We can see right there, 398, beautifully timed. And the age up comes through, no surprise, ladies and gentlemen, it is the economic wing. And what beautiful music we've got, you know? Um, I might mention it now. It's, it's rare that I compliment Age of Empires 4, but uh, I guess we'll throw it out today. That sheep almost looked like it was stuck in the mountain. What beautiful music. And I mean, just general sound design. I remember when I first started playing Age of Empires 4, it felt a little bit weird because there was a bit of an echo from like the voices and everything. But now I don't hear it. But obviously that that is just the echo of the camera, the sound design, depending on, you know, if a, if a unit is to the right, it will go in your right ear. If it's towards the left, it will go in your left ear. Just, you know what, devs, just keep it up. Keep, keep, being, keep being amazing. Speaking of amazing, Deerstone's coming up now for B. No real crazy stuff coming out for him actually early. We haven't seen... An, we see an early wheelbarrow now coming through for him. Uh, so, But everything's sort of stock standard. I think that's that's essentially what I'm trying to say. You know, we, we haven't seen an early barracks. haven't seen an early tower. haven't seen an early pasture. haven't seen an early stable. It's just the Uvu, the town center. Uh, now, one of the things to note... Now, I'm not sure if he's done this already, but you do have the option of going for double villager production. Now, you know I wouldn't recommend it, but, I mean, what else are you doing with it? If, if you're... Unless he's actually committing to some sort of timing or... Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's got to be double villager production, right? I haven't been keeping track. He, he's actually got 300... So, he's already used it once. Okay. So, there you go. Uh, so, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see double villager production coming out uh, on the next cycle. There he goes. He, he cancels the villager and then goes double vill production. Just simply because even though he's behind a second from cancelling the vill, he's going to be ahead 19 seconds on that villager, at least for the moment. So, super smart move. We'll check in with Demuslim, see how he's doing. The age up's now complete for him. It's going to be your classic wheelbarrow, fresh foodstuffs, all that thing, and then straight over onto stone. So, no real surprises there. It is, it's a very standard build order that we've grown to be familiar with. But Demuslim now going to be scouting out... The, uh, the villagers here on the wood line. Now, there's plenty of villagers here. 17 villagers. Now, he should know what's up. He should say, okay, 17 villagers. That's a little bit of overkill. I can see you haven't made any military. So, I, I would not expect a Muslim to react with outposts or anything like that at this point in time. 
If anything, I would probably be a little just... I, I'd just be keeping tabs on this. You just want to make sure you bring the scout back. Make sure you're always looking because if he does start to eat into it, that's when you start to get a little bit scared. But for the most part, it just kind of looks like, you know, that, that standard, I'm going for a second TC kind of thing. But we do see forestry coming through. So forestry going to be the upgrade that reduces the amount of time it takes to chop a tree down. So not to harvest a tree, but just to chop the tree down. So there's two, two phases of a tree. Living and then being chopped. Uh, there's probably a few more in there as well, Drongo, but that is a good summary. Thank you. Uh, so the, uh, <laughs> it reduces that, that first phase. So the, the, the chopping phase. So you can see all of these trees down here are already chopped. Uh, but once, once the wood in them is finished, then they're going to start chopping the new trees. We'll look to see if we can spot it. Just, uh, I suspect it's going to be over here. There's a lot of villages down here. So surely these guys are going to have to move. We're still yet to see that second TC coming down just yet, but it should be coming through on the way any second. I can feel it. I feel it coming right now. Like, uh, like what's his name? The singer? I'm not going to sing it. I want to sing it. Do I sing? Oh, here we go. Chopping, chopping. Yeah. We got baited. I feel it coming. That's the one. The weekend. The weekend. Dude, that, guy, that guy's got an amazing voice, doesn't he? Horseman out. Looking to try and deal with the Mongol Khan. I remember playing in the beta. I mean, I talk about the good old days, don't I? I remember playing in the beta against uh, Nyancat. You guys will know Nyancat. We covered a few of his games. Uh, he loves to play the Mongols. And I remember making a post on the forums like, yo, I got to be real with you guys. The Mongol Khan needs to be nerfed. It's moving. It's killing my sheep. It's killing my villagers. There's not really much counter to it. I, I, I um... You know, I, I, I bring out, like, archers, and he just micros them and kites them, and he's healing up, and he's just, like, he's doing 360 no-scopes. It's busted. It's busted as all hell. And um, and I remember he responded. He's like, you just bad. And I was like, hmm, that, that hurt. Because <laughs> he remembered who I was. Like, I played a game against him, and it, it was later on the forums. He's just like, I played against you. You're just bad. I was like, mm, all right then. Well, <laughs> well, one of the things I wasn't doing was using a horseman. Uh, to deal with the Khan. And it, it can feel a little bit bad. It's kind of like, it reminds me similarly of the French in that when you're playing up against the French, it's almost, you kind of feel burdened to put either an outpost or a barracks with spears. Like you have to do them. Otherwise you are just, you know, blink and you are going to miss it. Your villagers are going to die or you're going to just run idle. It's like, it's one of those things. And it's, I feel the same thing uh, for demo here. Um, but um, yeah, I digress. Third TC now coming down for the Muslim. Very, very front-focused TC. Obviously going for the wood line. It's a big factor here. Uh, but the horseman's going to be running around now. I'm curious to see what he spots out from this. Now, I don't know whether he spotted this second TC. It looked like he just got pushed back from the first one. But surely he knows that it's happening. The scout is nowhere to be seen. Well, um, unless you're looking in the base of the Muslim. In which case, it is to be seen in the base of the Muslim. But now that scout can be moving around, looking to try and get another angle. I think he tried to get through here, but just unsuccessful. So he's going to be coming around and looking to try and find another way in. Now, there is a third TC coming in from B as well. So both of these guys going for three TC openings here. So we'll take a look at the village account, see what it is at. B's on 38 villages. The Muslim on 33. Whew. Jeez, I mean... I, I guess the, the thing to remember in this matchup, the agency belongs to the the Mongols. That's that's the big thing, right? Like when you talk when we talk about this concept of agency, it's about who controls the the pace of the game, and the answer is the Mongols. They really decide it. So Mongols can go three TCs, and Abbasids just got to kind of sit there and be like, all right, well now we're going to react. Whereas you know from the Abbasids' perspective, they can't really do much. Like oh, okay, you got a, a horseman out, good job, but realistically, you're not going to be able to do much with it. And we can see he's trying to penetrate the defenses, not having much luck with that, but. I tell you what, three TCs. I mean, we're, we're starting to get a little bit crazy. Deerstone's moving forward as well. With the barracks coming down, you can only suspect that there is going to be at least more units. And we see the first unit coming out for B. It's just going to be a spearman, a single spear moving over to hold the position. The outpost is up. So he's going to be able to extend that yam network towards these villages on the gold mine, even though really not a lot happens or a lot uh, is gained from it. There's a very short walking distance there. Village are going to be moving around, being brought in a little bit safer, a little bit tucked in a little bit closer. Let's check back in over on the other side, see where Demo's up to. He's, uh, what, is he going for a fourth TC? I wouldn't be surprised if he's thinking about it right now. He's got all the resources for it. He's moving out to hunts, moving out to berries. Now, one of the things to note on this map is there are a lot of berries. It's part of the reason why people do like the Abbasid Dynasty on this map, just simply because there's more berries. So a lot of resource uh, nodes for you to take advantage of. Um, so that is one of the, the main reasons why we do see them a lot here. But Demo's really stacking up that wood at this point in time. Looks like he's going to be throwing down a house. No outposts just yet. No keeps, obviously. Still in age two, but 
two villagers just pushing down the screen. I'm, I'm curious as to whether it's going to be four TCs from him. Village account at the moment, 48 for the Muslim, 53 for B. So both of these guys still pretty even. Obviously, the little, the slight lead for B. It's going to be a, a minor lead, though. Not, not something that's particularly huge, particularly big. I'm starting to see pastures coming down as well here for B. So he's got, uh, he's got quite a few of them down. That's for sure. And now the production building's coming in. 213 wood in the bank. We see it's going to be an archery range, but keep in mind he's still in the feudal age, so I'm not sure what type of push he's thinking about or looking for, but you can only assume it's going to be through the middle, and I think the Muslim is thinking the same thing. Now, post number one is going to be going up. Khan going to be moving around the base now of the Muslim. We failed to see that fourth town center materialize just yet. Arrow Slit's going to be coming in instead on the first of these outposts. Second outpost coming up now, so once again, unlikely. And now the blacksmith coming in for B. So likely to be improved siege engineering with the fact that we're seeing the archery range and the barracks. Highly likely that he's going to be looking to try and do some sort of push through the middle here. We're going to be utilizing the siege uh, as a way to do it. And we can see now improved siege engineering coming through straight away. 175 stone in the bank for him. Town center is going to be firing down. He indeed spots that second or that third town center. If he hadn't already, he's definitely spotted it now. now up to the, nor the north, the Khan going to be trying his best to hold on. It's going to be that attack speed arrow. You can see him moving away but barely doing any damage barely scratching the surface right now so khan once again gonna be losing its life and good game gonna be typed in not really not really if, if we were on twitch right now this would the good game would be called right now by the twitch chat but you guys know twitch chat they're kind of like reddit they breathe out of their mouth but uh they're a special kind of special let's just put it that way khan for b now gonna move in and spot out the outpost so he knows something is coming Okay, the Muslim knows something is coming. The question is whether he's going to be able to stop it. Now, over on this side, we do see the horseman is moving through a very shallow line of sight. He will spot that there's a little bit of trash here. Archers, as well as the hardened spearmen, but the Muslim now aging up. We'll take a look and see how he's doing. It's going to be the culture wing, so no military wing, not today. Now we'll check in with B and see how he's going to be going, because he is our star of the show. He's been incredibly creative throughout the week. And continues to look impressive. And look at the production coming down from now. Barracks, archery range. Archery range, barracks. Uh, that is that is a lot of production. That's going to be six production buildings at the moment. And I suspect he's probably going to be looking at, at going into... I, I, I would suspect crossbows. Uh, crossbow spear or crossbow men at arms or spear archer. Just trying... I mean, we've been seeing a lot of trash lately. People have just been very happy spamming out trash. I think that, that largely might be just because of how weak Siege is at the moment. I, I think that might actually be the reason why. Um, it, it just make it kind of makes sense when you think about it, right? Like, Siege counters big balls of, of infantry, and people are happy to make big balls of infantry because Siege isn't that strong right now. Now, that's obviously with the... There are exceptions in there. You've got things like your nest of bees. You've got your your uh, trebuchets. You've, you've got, like, your... Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Calm down. Calm, calm down. Calm down, Reddit. Uh, <laughs> I should stop making jokes about Reddit. They're, they're, they're a bunch of stand-up guys. Uh, but... Yeah, I, I guess the point is that Siege probably isn't as strong as it once used to be. And that, that part, that might be the reason. But now it is going to be... So Spearman Crossbow. Uh, so I, I suspected it would be this direction. But continuing to move forward, though, this is... I, I guess the one thing that I, I would note is that B is pushing forward without a real significant army here. At least it looks like he's pushing forward. You know, he, he's intently cutting forward. Gur coming out. And now going to be able to break through. The line of sight has made it. Springwood in placement. Going to be able to fire down upon the villagers. These guys yet to have their textile upgrade. Even if they did, they'd still get two shot by the Springwood in placement. And now both of them going to be firing down upon each other. Springwood in placement on both sides. Crossbows. Men at arms on one side. On the other side, trebuchets. Trebuchets. Any more trebuchets? That's the first trebuchet coming out. 4B. He's looking to try and maximize efficiency. That's the second trebuchet coming out now. So looking to try and take out these outposts. And geez, look, so little health on these outposts now. So he's going to need a keep up as soon as possible. Ideally, you'd love to see a keep over here on this little western position of the town center just to make sure that no sneaky drops come in because that's going to be the major threat. It, it, it's the potential. For the town center drop is where the real problem is because the town centers serve as like these pseudo forts almost for the Mongols. They can come in, drop them, and then all of a sudden, they're just firing out arrows. Very difficult to deal with. They body block a lot. Now, one of the things to note is he may. He may. Uh, we need to check whether he's got... He doesn't have it. He doesn't have superior mobility. This is something that he's neglected earlier uh, in the event. 
not going for superior mobility. And I feel like it's such a cheap upgrade to get that guarantees that your buildings are going to be able to get into a position to unpack. It's also going to guarantee that they're, they're going to unpack a lot faster. So, I mean, there's a lot of reasons to get this upgrade, not a lot of reasons not to. And it might just simply be that B forgets it or he doesn't know about it. Not that he doesn't know about it, but he, he doesn't he doesn't realize that he's forgetting it. Maybe that's it. But uh, now, I mean, both players just looking to fight out over the center trench. It's, it's quite an interesting position here because both players are, are somewhat... I, I guess it's a little bit of a stalemate at this point, but still we see B preparing. Military Academy just coming in now. That wasn't improved mil Military Academy, rather just the standard Military Academy. So he's going to be able to pump out units a little bit faster when it comes to production. He's still doing pretty damn well. Three archery ranges, three barracks. So just the standard stuff. 98 vills versus 83. So the Muslims falling behind slightly on this front line, losing out a couple of villages, but obviously B able to double produce as well. Uh, we'll tune in with B. We'll see how he's doing as he continues pushing through. Over on the other side, the Muslim is slowly but steadily, but now it looks like the units continue pushing forward for B. Manganel going to get added in now. He's got a great little siege composition here. Taking a page out of the book of Beastie. And looking to push forward. You can see outposts coming up for him as well. Adding in those sprinkled emplacements as, as he goes. And you can see the time that it takes to get these villagers down. Oh my lord. I feel like, are these Mongol villagers, when they get textiles, are they differently skinned? I feel like they are. Town Center going to be going down on the other side. B doing a decent job to clean up that TC. Now going to be looking to focus down the Siege Workshop. The consequence of putting all of these big buildings on the front line, but not putting a keep down. But I think even at the end of the day, a keep really wouldn't have mattered. When you've got three trebuchets out firing and you're trying to repair stone, it makes it very, very difficult to do it. I guess the other alternatives, you could like, you could probably look to keep over this side. Maybe even like keep back here. Maybe just avoid expanding at all to this front side and then potentially look to flank it with horsemen and all that. But look at how many units are out right now for B. He's at 100 and 200 population compared to Demusim is on 139. Where did it all go wrong for Demusim? It's almost like it sprung up overnight. I'm reminded of that Simpsons episode. I went to the McDonald's in Shelbyville the other night. The what? McDonald's. They got over 40 locations in this state alone. Must have sprung up overnight. That's that's the reference I'm talking about. But now the town center's coming through. It's moving pretty quickly. 1.29 movement speed. I think he's got that bonus. We've, we're now seeing it. We're entering into the cinematic mode so you guys can see the town centers are going to lay down the, the, sort of the, the foundations of this push. And it, they act as pseudo keeps. You know, worst case scenario, he's able to body block with them. In the good case scenario, the spears jump in the TC. They start firing down. Springles on the backside. Mongol Khan just looking to pop off that speed boost to get up with the troops a little bit faster. Trebuchet has got to be careful. They're bugging out a little bit. You can see him working towards that House of Wisdom. But now, unfortunately, the backside Springle does go down. His first town center is going to go down. Second one's already been taken out. And now those those uh, <laughs> those spearmen move forward. Trebuchet is just looking impressive. And now, at the same time, we're going to see a little bit of a drop coming in with the outpost. He continues focusing down. Where is the Muslim's army right now? I've got to take us out of cinematic mode. Is he doing a counterattack or something? So there is a counterattack back at home. And the Muslim trying his best to push it. But unfortunately, there's so many crossbows back here. So that's where the army is from the Muslim this whole time. I'm, st I'm so busy watching the front that, that they were hitting it from the back. Look at that. Look at the, the damage that's just being pre prevented from happening there's absolutely no no defense whatsoever back home and the muslims in a bit of a tough spot because that's the main town center and that's the last landmark keep in mind abbasid only the two landmarks that's it and he can push continues pushing forward and now training with the town center he's got villagers that are just being trained because why the heck not you're just moving them forward looking to do a little bit of blocky blocky and now that second tc gonna be moving up with the with the other one look at this we got the race cars out right now and the muslim is gonna be in a very tough spot as that town center is going down he's trying to get the tc in this in this uh this little position here but it is getting blocked khan gets killed ay 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 i can hear it right now Things not looking pretty, but the Trebs on the backside, that's what really matters now. Still firing out. As long as they stay alive, you're going to be A-OK, -okay, but the Spears, Crossbow's moving forward. Now the, the majority of that push has stalled out completely, and all the rest of the reinforcements are going to continue coming in. Look at the army size here for B. He's just taking this game by storm. There's really no contesting it at this point. Demuslim's going to have a handful of of, uh, of of camel archers, but it, it barely means anything. Manganel taking out the range units on the backside as well. And now the Trebs are just setting up and good game gets called. Demuslim going to be tapping out. B coming in with what I would call one of the most sophisticated, but disgusting nonetheless. T 
town center rushes. It's great to see the TC rush back, though it does make me a little bit scared to get on the ladders. Fellas, we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.